let's get started. We are going to be learning microservices with Spring Boot, specifically fault tolerance and resilience. This is the agenda, a high level agenda. We're going to be uh, looking at the challenges that we have with availability in the case of microservices. Why do we need fault tolerance? Why do we need resilience? What are the problems that we're trying to solve? What are the things that you could face and why you could face them? That's like the biggest part of this workshop. Even if you don't take anything away from the workshop relating to Spring Boot or Hystrix or any of the technologies, I want you to understand the fundamental concepts, which is super important which is not gonna change no matter which framework you use, as long as you use microservices, those things are gonna be essential. So we're gonna be tackling that. Once you've understood the problem, we will take a sample project and we'll use one framework, which happens to be Spring Boot and Hystrix, but we're gonna be learning that one thing and then we're gonna say, okay, this is the code, these are the microservices we have, how can we make these microservices more resilient and fault tolerant? Okay, that's the agenda. Very simple agenda, just two points, but then this is very layered. There are a lot of things that we're gonna dig up when it comes to availability, a lot of things we're gonna dig up when it comes to what we can do to make things more available and make things more fault tolerant. There is at least one more course about microservices with Spring Boot on Java Brains. That is level one, communication and service discovery. I'm hoping you have seen this before watching this if not, please go ahead and look at this, this course first before uh, tackling this. If you're on a live stream, I guess you can still follow along, but uh, I would recommend you at least have had some exposure to communication and service discovery because I'm kind of going to be glossing over those things. What we're going to be tackling is this level here, this guy, level two, fault tolerance and resilience. 